Hey, David Charney here from Illumin Group and eLearningLocker.com. Hey, I want to take a quick look at a project originally built in Flash that I've been slowly converting into Storyline 360. So here's the project. I kind of skipped ahead a little bit. There's a little bit of instruction as far as what uh, ingredients you want to throw into this thing in the right order, in the right amounts. Uh, now, at this point, the customer has thrown out a slight uh, customer request, a change. So you have to keep that in mind as you're putting this together. I can grab this uh, coffee drink and uh, this iced coffee and or make this iced coffee, drop some ice in, espresso, and cover this and blend and what not. And done. So it does a quick check, you know, did you use all the right ingredients? Did you consider what the customer request was? And you can try again and again and again. Uh, obviously, time is a factor, uh, so both time and accuracy will give you the best score. Now let's take a look at the Storyline version I've been working on. Now if you've seen a past video, you'll know that I ran into a lot of bugs in uh, the development of this so far. Uh, although I feel I'm very much past the point where the bugs are going to keep me from finishing this up. Um, so, a number of things here. First off, there's a timer again. I've made some slight visual changes. Uh, obviously, this is not finished yet. There's a level of polish that certainly isn't here. Uh, but I can come down here. I can grab the uh, picture again. Um, I'm still working on a little animated GIF there, so it's not 100% finished. But you can see as I pour that, the um, the 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 uh, blender kind of fills itself up. Um, I can grab the ice and drop that in. I can't yet grab the uh, espresso, but I think it's pretty clear that uh, it, it would be easy to do in, in Storyline here. So now I can grab the lid, drop the lid on, blend, and now obviously it's not uh, finished here. But, um, but you can see I, I'm getting there, and it's going to get there. So I can do quite a lot in, in Storyline 360. Again, I'll restart this, do it one more time. So there's our little receipt. I'll have it so you can click on that and expand that out. Glass falls in. I will again, um, you know, I can I can pick any of this up. I can put the ice in first if I want. I can pour this. See if I move it off here, move it back, it's going to keep pouring, which is exactly what you want. Let me keep pouring that up. And then uh, I can put in more ice if I like. Uh, I need to still animate that down, but you get the idea. Uh, and then I'll drop the lid on, blend, and pour. So it works uh, works very well. Uh, it also will work fine in uh, on an iPad. You can click and uh, you can click. You can touch and drag the picture up, uh, just like clicking and dragging. I do have a little bit of um, a JavaScript check to see if you're on an iPad, and there's a couple of hover effects and things that I change based on the device you're on. So here we are in Storyline. I'll show you just a couple of the things that uh, people tend to ask me when I show them this. So people typically ask me uh, two questions in how this works. The first question I'll get into some more detail in another video because there's some cleanup I still want to do to this. Always clean up of these things. When I, when I get them working, it's pretty rough but functional. So. Sometimes I like to go back and clean it up a bit, and then I'll show you that. So uh, the first thing is how to make this picture show up. Uh, I basically have a little hotspot here. When you move this hotspot over this uh, hidden uh, um, frame, it will uh, show the show the uh, show the picture. And um, then I've got some other hidden frames. So when you move the picture. Uh, against other boxes, it will either look like it's pouring or not. Um, and again, I'll go into some more detail. I didn't want to kind of explain that too much right here. But the second question, which I'll go into a little bit more detail, is how to fill up this uh, this blender. So there's a couple things here. First off, I've got a layer here. I'll move that out of the way. And then this is the real trick. I've taken a screenshot of the actual project, but I've cut out the inside of the blender. So then I've got a, a motion path on this. So as you uh, are hovered over the uh, this hot spot here, you'll see this start to slide up. 
and when that slides up, it will actually starts down here and just slowly slides up. Uh, and then when that's over this, it will look like it is just slowly filling up the blender. And then and then just having these items over the uh, over the liquid uh, really kind of seals the deal. It makes it look like the liquid is behind or within the blender. So it's it's a pretty simple uh, trick. But when you're in the interaction, it just seems very straightforward, very natural. You are just filling up a blender, and that's what you want. Again, as I finish this project up and kind of polish everything up so that it's uh, a real nice, clean learner experience, I'll come back and show you the entire project, how it was all put together in a lot more detail. Uh, but hopefully this little interim video will uh, at least give you the idea that, uh, or at least give you some new ideas and what you might be able to do uh, in storyline that you hadn't thought of before.